Hey everyone, this is Mukesh Otwani once again from learnhyphenomachine.com. In this video, we will be talking about a very interesting topic called how do you monitor API health continuously using Playwright? Or you can say you can create a small Jenkins job where this Jenkins job or this pipeline can continuously monitor your API health. Okay, how we can do that? It's very straightforward. Let me show you step by step. But before we do that, I'm assuming that you are familiar with Playwright because right now I will be making one get call continuously. So I'm assuming that you should be comfortable with API testing using Playwright. If not, then I would highly recommend you to watch this series where we discuss get, post, put, pass, delete. Fine. So in order to show you this, I will be using this API, which is RESTful Booker. And if you come to this ping section, you will find one API, which is making a get request, which is basically a ping endpoint. If this API is working as expected, you will be getting response, which is 201 created. Okay. Now you might have a different API, which is returning you 200 if everything goes fine. But as per this documentation, we will be using 200, 1, 201 and created for checking the response is coming correctly or not. So let's continue with this. This is a health checker API, but in your case, the endpoint might be different. The response might be different. The message might be different. So put assertions accordingly. So in order to create this, I will be creating a new test. I will be creating a new spec file. Let's call this as monitor server or monitor API dot spec dot JS. Now let's create one test. First of all, I will be importing. I will import test and I will be importing expect from which from playwright. Now let's create a test. The first thing that you need to pass is the title. The title of the test, I will say check API health. Now I need one function. Now I can go with anonymous function or arrow function. So I will go with anonymous function, curly bracket open and close. And we will be using built-in fixture called request fixture. Now this is my endpoint. I will copy this and again I will say await request dot get. Now this will send a get request. We will be getting response. Let me store this in a variable called response. Now I need to check the response code should be 201 as per this, right? So let me first get the response and I will say, give me the status. Let me store this in a variable called status and let me print. Now I will be using template literals from JavaScript where I will be using backtick Right? And I will say response code from API is I will be using dollar curly bracket open and close and I will be using this status. Let me run this. The moment you run this, you can see we are getting response code 201. Now in order to run this continuously, we know that we have loops, right? Now I will be using one while loop. Okay. So how this while loop works, if while loop, while loop will get true, it will keep on running, right? So I will purposefully pass true here. It means this while loop will run until we are not stopping or something went wrong, right? So this particular three lines of code, if I directly put here. So now this will keep on running. So let me run this. So you will see it will keep on running 201, 201, 201. And let me show you one interesting point here. So after a point, you will see it will stop even though we have given while loop with true condition. Okay. So let's wait. Now this is what I want to show you. Even though we have used while loop, 
it should run infinite, right? But after 30,000 millisecond, which is 30 second, my test is getting ended. And you will see this error called test timeout of 30,000 millisecond exceeded. Now why it is happening? Please make a note guys, by default, Playwright assumes that your test should get finished in 30 seconds. Okay. By default timeout for each test is 30 seconds, which is equal to 30,000 millisecond. So after 30 seconds, the timeout is getting exceeded and it says end. But I want my test should not have any restriction. So I will be using this test again. And if I put dot, you can see we have so many methods, right? Now, one of the method that we are going to use is called set timeout. So what exactly this method will do? It will change the timeout of the test. And if I give zero, zero means no timeout. So we are going to utilize this. So I will be adding zero. But it also have additional uh, usage guys. Let's say your test is little lengthy, right? It is taking four minutes, five minutes. So you can change the timeout too. But if you put zero, it means there's no timeout here. Now it will not fail after 30 seconds. Now notice one part that right now we are just printing the status. What if my API is going down or it is giving me some other response code? It will not throw any error, right? Because we are not putting any validations. So it will keep on printing 201. Let's say if my API is down, it will give me 500, but it will not fail my test. I want Playwright to fail my test if it will get anything apart from 201, right? So I will be using expect. So basically this is status that we got. I want it has to be always 201. Anything else it should fail. Now let me run again and this time it should not stop after 30 seconds and it will keep on running. It will only stop if we get any other status code apart from 201. Now what if you want to also monitor the time, for example, how much time it is taking. Now if you notice here, it is taking close to uh, 200 millisecond, 300 millisecond max to max, right? And the see the beauty of VS code, it is also showing you how many times our for loop has, uh, sorry, while loop has been executed. So it has executed almost 130 and it will keep on running. Now I want to add how we can calculate the time. So let me show you that as well. Now purposefully, let me stop this. So I will say cancel the test run. And let's see how we can calculate the time which my API is taking to get the response. So to do this, we need to write our custom logic. Uh, unfortunately, we don't have any method in Playrate as such, which is giving me total time it is taking to uh, returning me the response, right? So we need to write a custom logic. How we can do that? I will be coming to while loop. And let me capture the current date and time now. So I will be using date. Now date is a built in object. And now I will be calling one method called method. Sorry, I will be calling one method called now. What exactly this will do? This will give me the current date along with the time. So let me store this in a variable called start time. Okay. If you want, you can print, but as of now, I don't need to print. Now, immediately, once we get the response again, I will capture the date and time. So this is my start. Let me again capture date dot now so it will give me start and end now i need to capture the difference between these two right for example it took 200 milliseconds 300 milliseconds so i got start and end now how do i get the duration simple math i will do duration first of all i will create one variable and i will say end minus start so again, I will go with console.log and again, I will use template literals. So again, I will use backtick and I will say total duration for the response is again, I will use dollar curly bracket open and close and I will write duration. Again, I'm not putting validation. Okay. I will write the condition and check everything, but let's run this first. 
you can see it is calculating now right mostly it is below 300 or max to max 400 millisecond and it will keep on doing until we don't stop so it is running all this and we are able to capture response so let me cancel this now my condition is if the duration or the total time which my api is taking is above one second or above two seconds or above three seconds i want to stop this and this will fail the moment it will fail you will get to know that yes your api is behaving slow so just a small if condition and we are good to go so let's continue and i will write if condition that if the duration that we captured is greater than let's say 2000 millisecond if yes i want to throw one error then only this loop will stop if everything goes fine so i will use else and i will keep printing so this i will keep it here and if the duration is greater than 2000 millisecond it means my api is behaving very slow so in that case i will use throw so i will throw one error throw new error and i want to give a custom message so again i will use template literals and i will say api response is slow again dollar and i will also print the duration obviously right now it is giving below 2000 so it will not stop but we'll put some different validation okay it is working as expected but let me check whether the logic that we have written is correct or not so i will change this now i'm expecting that the api response should be below 100 millisecond obviously it will fail right because what we noticed it is taking 200 to 300 milliseconds just to show you i am failing it purposefully if it is greater than 100 then throw this error and yes you can see right api response is slow 1090 since we have given one uh, double zero obviously it will fail that's how you can build now i will keep it back to 2000 so that our program should run and now it will always run now the question comes mukesh how we can use this productively see guys once your script is ready let's consider this as a api health monitoring which is checking the particular api response and the response code should be 201 and the duration should be less than two seconds what you can do you now can create one quick job so this job you can create and you can schedule this using any ci cd tool it could be jenkins github actions team city bamboo so for this particular program create a jenkins job or pipeline and schedule okay see guys while i was explaining for one of the api call the response was little slow and it failed so it means there's a spike that api response is slow and it failed so live we have captured and it stopped again i can start so you can again check the logs why that particular api request took more time and that's how you can report i hope you got some clarity please try this from your side again it's a very small piece of code. We are just making a get call, capturing the response code. We are putting a session. It will fail in two cases. If anything else apart from 201, it will fail. And if the response code is about 2000 millisecond, it will fail. Please try with your API endpoint and let me know if you face an issue. If you got some value out of this video, then do subscribe to this channel. Share this video with your others, those who are learning Playwright. And I will see you in the next video. Till then, bye-bye. Take care.